Hello and welcome to the tutorial that will walk you through the steps on how to slice out a name out of a shape from design in design space. The first thing to do is to start a new project by clicking new project. We're going to get rid of this pop up. Now we're going to shapes. And from shapes we're going to grab a star. We're going to manually adjust the size of the star to make it a little bit bigger and easier to see and work with. We're going to move it and set it aside. Next, we're going to go to text box. And in a text box, we're going to type in the name. I'm typing in my name. I'm going to come to fonts. Here's the two things you need to understand. You can have system fonts which is pulling in all of the fonts that you have installed on your own laptop, or you can pull in the Cricut fonts. The Cricut fonts are paid for. You'd have to pay for them. Um, I prefer to work with the system fonts, and I just downloaded a whole bunch of the free fonts. So I'm going to stroll through and see what looks good to me. The Another Day in Paradise, which is one of the free fonts that I've downloaded to my laptop, looks good. I'm going to select that. And while I like the letters, I don't like that there is so much space in between. So I'm going to come to letter space and I'm going to manually adjust it by reducing the space in between. And I'm just doing it very slowly. This is starting to look a lot better. That's one of the ways to adjust it. Another option is to ungroup it and move each letter individually. If you're going to go with ungroup option, which you don't have to, make sure that at the end, when you're done, you select all of the letters together and you weld them. Now I'm going to change the color of my text. So I'm going to come right in here and select green. Next, I'm going to take my word and put it over my star. And I'm going to unlock this key right here so I can manually manipulate the sizing and it just have more flexibility. So this looks pretty good to me. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to select all of this together. And I'm going to come to Align on the top. And I'm going to select Center Horizontally. And as you can see, my text just moved. But that's what's done for me. It centered it horizontally. So it's uh, much more proportionate as instead of trying to adjust it manually. Next, I'm going to select this again. And this time I'm going to come to Slice option on the very bottom. I'm going to select that. And what that had done was to cut my name out in the shape. Now I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. I'm going to save my project. Next, I'm going to set the size that I want it. And you can have two options. One option is to keep this lock as is and just update um, the height, which will automatically update the width for you. So I'm just going to say, well, I want it to be five inches. And that automatically adjusts the width and keeps the proportionate, uh, the ratio as it was before. Or I can unlock this and say nope i want to adjust everything manually myself and i want my start to be squeezed in a little bit more maybe like this or you can just type in the numbers in here so i'm going to set it to 424 4.25 in here that's a start that i want to look I'm gonna lock it back and then you're ready to make it 
One thing I want to point it out is that if you're going to have several of the stars, a useful feature to remember is this. If you are going to click on a make, then design space puts it for you however it wants it, right? And um, it's utilizing what is known as the best positional logic. But the best positional logic doesn't always save the most uh, amount of the vinyl or paper or whatever you're working on us. So what you can do is you can manually set, and you know, maybe this is not the best shape to work with it, but um, you, for example, if you position it this way and you're gonna highlight both of them together, and you're going to come here and you're going to attach it. When you go to make it, it will keep it exactly how you want it. And this feature will come quite useful as you learn to make more complex projects and have more things to cut. And on that, the, our tutorial is concluded. Thank you for watching.